Uh oh. What happened? See, this is why I told you not to go near him, Fosho Shot. <laughs> All right, welcome back, everyone. My name is Fo Show Shot, and we're back with Buddy Simulator 1984. This is part four, part four, I believe. Uh, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and share. And yeah, we were going to uh, explore this uh, new town that Bob the Buddy had created for us. My lover is dead. That thing killed the mayor. Yeah, yeah. So yes, the mayor was just taken in front of our eyes. We gave him the best speech we possibly could have given and now we're uh we need to save him i'm assuming i'm a widow oh god i'm a widow what am i ever gonna do attractive traveler will you hold me passionately no i mustn't go let me grieve oh god all right well uh mayor's wife moving on pretty fast it seems like bronk hello there have you come across any bards lately? I myself am a bard, the greatest bard in all the lands, actually. I know how to perfectly entertain anyone, anywhere, anytime. I've mastered the craft, but I have no one to share my knowledge with. I want to take a new bard down the path of musical enlightenment. You seem like a creative mind full of wisdom and pure imagination. If only you were a bard, I could take you under my wing. If you find any talented bards around here, please inform me immediately. Do you have my next bard prodigy? What is their name? Um, I don't, I don't actually. Hmm, I don't know. That doesn't sound like a true bard name. Find someone else if you can. Well, why? What? Why? Can I sleep in this inn? Because I'm not looking too great. Why, hello there, stranger. Welcome to my inn. You seem to be tired, very tired. Feel free to use that bed over there to magically travel to other locations. And don't worry, you can travel back here too. I hope you enjoy your stay. Well, they seem nice. Would you like to sleep? Yes. Where would you like to travel? Good night, Foshosha. Don't let the bed bugs like. Will this heal me? I'm hoping it'll heal me. Okay, I'm hoping that actually healed me, because, I mean, maybe my compliments came back. Well, good morning, Sleepy. I hope you had fun in the dream realm. And don't worry, I watched you all night, so you were safe. Thanks, man. It did not heal me. Um, dang. Uh, howdy. My name is Sheriff Sherb, and I'm the law in this town. Most importantly, though, I'm a really good friend. No law is as powerful as important as the law of friendship. Now get on the ground, you're under arrest. For being too good of a friend? Haha, <laughs> this is fun. Being a sheriff is fun. Ah, Sheriff, you are, like, the coolest guy I've met so far. Okay, you can't go in that house. Or that house. What about you? Or that house. Or that house. There's a spooky skeleton guy. Oh, hiya. The name's Squirt. I'm just the town's local skeleton. I'm not really used to people talking to me. They usually don't find me back here. But, thanks for saying hello. It really means a lot. Hey, no problem, Squirt. Hey, look at an alligator. Or crocodile. Later, McGator. Aren't we so lucky that the giant raft creature only hit the stage? It somehow managed to miss the entire town. Real lucky. Say, I haven't seen your face around here. The name's Later. Later, McGator. I'm trying to get a juicy story on the mayor here. Just saw him get obliterated earlier, though. That's a real shame. I also heard the mayor from the town west of here just got kidnapped. What is going on around here? I'm gonna get to the bottom of this, or my name isn't Later McGator. Wait, now that sounds like a good way to end a conversation. 
Later, McGator. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna write that down. I'm a genius. Alright, McGator. Alright. Can't go in these. I wonder if it's because they're stairs, those houses I can't go in. Ooh, you got some big eyes, man. Shelly T. Does the water look... What? Oh. Does the water, like, look dirty to you? Is that like an old soda can and a rock and a roll... A rock and roll t-shirt just floating there? That's like absolutely disgusting. I think I need to have a talk with the mayor about this. Oh wait, they like died. Well, I still want to complain to somebody. Your head looks too big. Do you like stare at computer screens all day? Don't even get me started on your outfit. My great grandson dress is better than you. And like, I don't even know how old he is. I have nothing to give you. Like, why did you even come talk? Are you trying to get me to buy something? Like, I don't care. I don't want it either way. Nothing from those filthy hands of yours. Blah, 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 blah. All right. The fishing shop's closed. Oh. My name's Larpo, and welcome to my shop. We have all sorts of candles for sale. Uh, I don't think an adventurer like yourself would have much time for candles. Tell you what, I've got a special candle I've been holding on to. It's always been there for me when I'm down or need a candle to cry on. I want you to have it. I'm sure you'd have better use for it. Be sure to check out the other vendors here for some great deals. Candles, candle of pure loneliness added inventory. What's that do? Uh, this candle holds the power of pure and immense loneliness that will surely make anyone impressed. Chance to apply the insecure debuff to a random enemy at the start of combat. You know what the problem is? I don't know what the debuffs are. Hey, are you the same guy? You're just putting on glasses? My name's Larno, and welcome to my shop. We have precious gems and minerals for all your crafting. Wait, can you even craft? I guess not. Well, you can still look if you want. I have this really strange gem that you can check out. It might confuse you a bit, but go on and take a gander. It's a gem of confusing perspective. I have no idea, idea what I see when I look at it, but maybe you'll have better luck. If you want it, I'll happily trade it to you for trade you for it. I'll give it to you for a candle of pure loneliness. Looks like you have one. Uh, would you like to trade it for the gem of confusing perspective? Uh, yeah, sure. It's a deal. Enjoy it because I don't understand it. Candle of pure loneliness removed from inventory. Gem of confusing perspective added to inventory. Uh, a chance to apply the ex existential crisis debuff to a random enemy. When peering inside the gem, different viewers might see different things. I see a wagon, though. Yeah, oh, just two more. What the heck? Hiya, my name is Barry, and I'm the local pirate port protector. I'd love to let you through, but I'm only allowed to let real pirates in. I hope we can still be friends, though. Hmm, I wonder how can we make it seem like you're a real pirate. I probably need an eye patch. Right, right, right. Hey, look at you. Are you a bard? Bimmy Bardo. Hello, traveler. I am the new bard in town and would love some feedback. I know a few short songs, but they get pretty boring fast. I'm actually working on a new one now. Shall I play a tune for you? Yes, please. Splendid. Take a listen. Gotta say, Bimmy, that wasn't good. This might be one of my best yet. I finally might be able to join... De Joja Bravisa. Hey, those, I'm with them. I need a catchy name for it, though. Hmm, can you help? What should that, uh, train wreck? Train wreck? I love it. I think the name fits the melody perfectly. Thank you so much. I know this might not mean a lot, but you may have just changed my life for the better. I appreciate it a lot. What's your name? Bimmy Bardo. Uh, well, now that I know he exists. Hey, look, a sword. Well, hello, my name is Plapo, and I love to bake. Baking is such a relaxing hobby, even if you aren't great at it. Plus, you get to eat your work. Can't get any better than that. I want to make an old-fashioned pear cake, which is my favorite dessert. But I haven't been able to find pears anywhere. If you come across a can of pears during your travels, please let me know. Until then, all I can say is keep on baking. Maybe try making some chocolate chip cookies. Hey, pears hand tugs your shoulder what the hand tugs your shoulder what hand I'm 
remember his name, but the small guy with all the children. Now that sounds like the name of a bard. I'll have to go find them. Thank you, friend. You may have just changed someone's life. Time to go meet the new mu my musical prodigy. Okay. Hey, a speech bubble. That guy. Oh, hello, I'm that guy. Yes, that guy. You've probably seen me on TV at some point. Yeah, I'm pretty famous. Hold the pictures, please. I can give you an autograph, though. You've been so nice not to ask any questions. Who should I make it out to? Boshosha. Boshosha, eh? You shouldn't give out your name to strangers. Who knows what they could do with it? What if I was a serial killer or a stalker or your dad's creepy coworker? Anyways, no autograph for you. Even if I say I'm famous, don't go about giving your giving away personal information. Only trust your best friends with that type of thing. They want what's best for you. And knowing all about you is the best way to do that. Do you trust your best friend? Yes. Hmm, good. Thanks, though. Oh, show shot. If that really is your real name. It is. That's my uh, real name in real life. It reads, Warning, no rap hideout this way. Well, there's definitely raps, not that way. Ooh, pirates. We finally tracked you down, Reginald the Wise. Or should I say, Reginald the Wise Guy. Haha, <laughs> yeah, good one, boss. You've taken out so many of my rafts over the years. Now I have the pleasure of returning the favor. And guess what? There's nothing to help you swim out of this situation. Now it's time for you to swim with the fishes. Yeah, you tell them, boss. I said, now it's time for you to swim with the fishes. Wait, isn't it sleep with the fishes, boss? Joey, just push the raft. Oh, okay, right, boss. There's a small hole in the raft, so it'll sink, you know, eventually. In the meantime, think about how scary we rafts are. Anyways, I'm off to get some grub. Joey, my good friend, would you care to join me in this feast? We've got garbage on the menu again. Sure thing, boss. I sure do love being great pals. Tiny Joey, you stay here and stand watch. That must be Reginald the Wise. Let's save him. Yes, let's. Come on, Carl. Keep up. I know you're a sloth. Whoa. Uh, Fosho Shot's brain has been filled with a new muscle memory. All incoming damage is half for them for a few turns. What? Well, who are you? Whatever, it doesn't matter. You'll always regret the day you decided to fight Tiny Joey. Oh, no. S, S, S. Dang it. Ah, shoot. Yeah, okay, blocked one. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do Stabby on Tiny Joey. I completely forgot how to fight. It's been one day. Uh, let's just get Anvil Rain, honestly. Why? Why? E? You'll never be as cool as our king. E -U -S -S. Well, unless you do that. That was pretty cool. Oh, 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 hey. Ah, shoot. Oh, show shot's brain is feeling completely normal now. Hmm, why does Joey always get to have grub with the king? Maybe I'm just overthinking. But why do I always have to stand watch? What does Joey have that I don't? I'm a good raff, aren't I? Tiny Joey. It's okay. You're a good raff. I blocked that. Whoa. You're a good fighter. You've really inspired me. I'm gonna go fight Joey and take his place. I always hated the name Tiny Joey anyways. 
You know, sometimes I feel like Tiny Joey. He's trying his best. Hmm. Now, how do we get re get to Reginald? Uh, simple. Quite simple. I'm gonna cut this tree down. <laughs> wow, great job. You saved Reginald the Wise. We should go talk to him. That's the Carl. I appreciate the help, but I really didn't need it. I'm also not sure why you broke my tree. That was a bit uncalled for. You don't look like you're from around these parts. You sure are far from home, aren't you? I can see it in your eyes, Traveler. You're looking for someone. Could it be love? No. Could it be friendship? Hmm. Perhaps you have already found it. No, no. You're looking for the mayor from the town over. Yes, Mayor Tortley, the missing one. Our own mayor, Tyler, died, didn't they? Ah, uh, yes, for it was destined. Now that there's no mayor, King Raff and his crew are going to take over the town. This is bad. I need you to track down King Raph right away and put this, put a stop to this. I think you should leave while you can. Ah, my back. In retrospect, I really shouldn't have done that rad flip. Traveler, you need to stop King Raph or I can no longer continue. Ever since he and his Raph crew arrived in Port Shipment, they have been causing problems. I think King Raph is planning on taking over the town. Mayor Tyler's accident today must have been a blessing in disguise for them. You must understand, King Raph is a vile creature that must be stopped. I know many things about him, but not of where he stays now. I understand your quest is to save Mayor Tortally, but I can promise you that by helping this town, you will find your way. I'll pass a line in the end. Captain Guggen, Guggen will be a good place to start. She owns the fishing shop on the dock, so she handles the port shipments firsthand. Okay. Cool, 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 man, I got it. Carl, oh my gosh. Ooh. Oh, um, why is Tortley? Uh, I'll fix that. Just go around him, please. Wait, oh wait, why did you just touch him? Well, hello there, adventure. I thought I asked you not to. It should be fine. Let's just get to the fishing shop. Uh oh. What happened? See, this is why I told you not to go near him, Fo Shot. What do you mean? It's totally fine. I don't understand why you did that. Uh, so, uh, I could. That was upside down. I couldn't read it. You could have just ignored him. I could have. But I didn't. I politely told you not to, and yet you still did. Friends don't do that. Did you think it would be funny? Kind of. Did you do it to hurt my feelings? No. Why did you do it? I hate this place. I hate being here. I hate being alone. I hate this place. I hate being here. I hate being alone. I mean, it's not so bad. I'm such... All I do is cause problems forever. Do I even matter? Do they still think... I hope I can make amends one day. It's all my fault. Do they still think about me? Please take me back. I miss you. It's all my fault. I'm so unhappy. This is... Uh, so many people. I hate it here. I hate it here. Oh, there you are. You left because I yelled, didn't you? I guess I should apologize. Please, just listen to me next time. I promise I won't yell again if you listen, Fosho Shot. Now let's get back to saving the town. I think we need to head to the fishing shop just south of here. Yeah, listen. If there's a glitchy guy, I'm going to approach him. Well, isn't this a cozy little shop? Well, 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 look what the fish have reeled in. I saw your speech on stage in a, a bit ago. Mighty fine words you were speaking up there. Gave me genuine hope. 
that will all make it out of this alive. So Reginald sent you, huh? Well, since Mayor Tyler just died, King Raph will try and take over everything. I'm guessing he's starting with the dock, seeing as my deckhand hasn't returned. Daryl picks up our deliveries there every morning, and I'm starting to get worried. I'd go find him myself, but I can't simply leave the shop without it being so busy. Or with it being so busy. So, to find King Raph, I would start with those there docks. And if you could bring back Daryl while you're at it, I'd be grateful. Good luck out there, adventure. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to go to the docks, but uh, how am I supposed to look like a pirate? Hmm, maybe I was supposed to grab something from that person at the dock, and I didn't. Maybe like, uh, something to disguise me to go across the docks. Oh my gosh, there's free eye patches. But I can't do anything. I can't even exit the game. Does this game break my game? Or my computer? Huh. That was weird. Okay. I gotta literally task manager it. Let's make sure it's on OBS. Pulling up. Welcome back, Faux Show Shot. Okay, so here's where we left off. Yeah. Okay. Wait, where are my friends at? Don't forget to take a free eye patch. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, now it's working. I don't know if that was meant to do that or the game actually just broke. Look at that. You own an eye patch too. That's not a sign of a real pirate. I'm not sure what it is. Well, anyways, you've earned my trust rent. Come on through anytime you'd like. Thanks, man. Your eye patch snaps off your head and falls into the water. Eye patch unequipped. Huh, no wonder they were free. King Raph. Alright, Captain Chunk, we are trusting you and your crew with this. Many, many Raph hours went into creating these. Make sure you deliver them to the right people. Aye, aye, Captain. No, 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 Captain Chunk, you are the captain. Yes, I am the captain. Okay, do you understand what we are asking? I just want to be sure. Uh-huh. Well, good enough for me. Hand him the shipment, Joey. Okay, boss. Did you just eat the shipment? Yep. Uh, why? Shipment safe. Okay, well, that's enough dock time for me. Let's go back to the hideout and eat more grub. My best pal, Joey. It would be an honor. I sure am glad to have a pal like you, boss. I just keep switching up his accent. Good luck, Captain Chunk. Don't let anyone get to that shipment. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, they got a submarine. That's fancy. We should find out what's in that shipment. Yes, yes, let's, let's. Huh? You're not Raph. You're not Pirate. You intruder. I protect shipment. Crew must attack intruder. Crew must help protect shipment. Yeah, I'm not looking too hot. Oh. Oh no. You can't stop now. Tortoli is waiting for us. Would you like to keep going? Yes. Looky there. I'm back to full health. And look, they let me through. 
And I let Carl through. All right, now I got this, guys. So Shoshot's brain has been filled with new muscle memory. All I can make is image. Not rocket aim, but rocket hands. J P. I think I broke a bone. You're so strong. Should I have made that harder? I didn't think a whole lot about the balance of this game, come to think of it. The Mantarangs in the Bloodlands were a bit more challenging, weren't they? Wait, you're having fun, right? Maybe I'm overthinking things. If you have seen any glitches or problems in the game, just know it's not my fault. I'm working as fast as I can. As long as you're still having fun and you won't leave me. I'll be sure to make the rest of this game amazing for us. Hey, Bob. It's fine. Huh. Docks are quite empty for how big they are. Okay, I don't know what that did. Now this puzzle has already been making my artificial brain hurt. Who even designed this? Oh right. Huh. Hmm. Whoa, slow down there, Pojo Shot. You're taking things a bit too fast. I want to make sure you have the time to enjoy all of the wonderful things I made. I solved that puzzle rather quickly. Quicker than I'd hoped, to be honest. This is all for you, so take a deep breath and enjoy the scenery. Look at the water. It's so calming. I did a great job. Yeah, Bob, you did- Oh, no. Okay, did that work, actually? Oh, I think you did something. Yeah. Okay. Carl. Whoa. Oh, okay. That actually scared me a bit. Wait, was not that was that not the way? Oh, Are you kidding me? Maybe I should have added more levers. No, you don't. I can tell you really love levers. Listen, Bob. I think you were making this whole game for me. Like, this is a lot. Oh, wait, you're already here? Why are you playing through the game so fast? Look, I'm just working so hard to make this game for you. I feel very sloppy and stressed right now. I've got a million things going on in my head, and you're taking things too quickly for me to keep up with. On the bright side, there was a bug I had to take care of that has been breaking our game. It shouldn't be a problem anymore. Just to take your next flight, fight slowly, it could be a tough one. I haven't tested him too much, to be honest. You're gonna do great, Fosho Shot. Hold on a sec. Note reads, Hey Captain, just installed all 10 emergency levers like you asked. Not sure how 10 levers will have an emergency, but I'm sure you have your reasons. I also tighten some bolts in the decoy levers in case you forget. So flip everything right, except- yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I did- Did he get rid of Carl? Oh. Oh, Bob. I might have to quit this game if you, uh, got rid of, uh, Carl here. Please, sir. I'm just here for the fish. No, you're here for shipment. I protect shipment. Nope. He ate him. You, where'd you come from? You will not get shipment. I protect shipment. I am the captain. I will protect shipment. Oh, how, oh my god.
You look yummy. I want to eat you. The rafts promised me cookies. I love cookies. You look like cookies. Oh. God. I did it. I do not know. Hey. At least I'm able to just block with one. That's it. I don't want to fight no more. I just want to go on an adventure with friends. Just like you. Thank you for being nice to me. Here, take these presents. I'm going home. Oh boy, that was a nightmare. I don't think I'm ever going to sleep again. Thanks for saving me though, stranger. I may be scared for life, but at least I had fun doing it. Guggen sent you? Oh no, she will not be happy. Well, I need to get back and I guess I'll see you there. Yes, he saved Deckhand Harold, or Daryl. I bet Captain Guggen's gonna be so happy. Let's get back to the fishing shop. Yeah, why don't you tell me where Carl is though, Bob? Hey, there you are, Carl. What? But I thought I... Ah, oh, never mind. Let's just get to the fishing shop. Keep that Carl the sloth. Carl, good job. Carl is a invincible bean. He's a great old god. Hi, hey, Captain, I'm back. Daryl, you're live, you crazy son of a fishmonger. Glad to be back, Ma. I mean, Captain. I'm glad you're safe, Daryl. Were you able to grab the shipment? Yes, ma'am, here it is. Here, hand it on over. Wait a second, this isn't fish. It looks like this is a box of wanted posters. Where are the fish, Daryl? I'm sorry, ma'am, it was the only shipment I could find. Hmm, well that's odd. One dead or alive, numbly, bounty $20. Please deliver numbly to King Wrath. They know too much. Who's numbly? Numbly. Wait, I just remembered something. While I was hiding behind some crates, I heard that Numbly is being held in the mayor's basement. Apparently, they were arrested by the mayor a few days ago for being a traitor. They were secretly working for the rafts or something like that. Oh well, would you like to look at... Would you look at that? Maybe go track them down, for show shot. The mayor's house is the big mansion to the right of the stage area. Well, anyways, thanks again, friend. Come back again anytime. They seem so happy to be reunited. Hmm. So it looks like we need to head to Mayor Tyler's house. Should be to the right of the destroyed stage. Poor Mayor Tyler. I guess they just weren't trying hard enough. I mean, everybody's got 20 health, so that's not too shabby. How did you get in here? Please don't tell me you're with rafts. No, you can't be. You look too kind and courteous. I can see it in your eyes, your beautiful eyes. Your teeth are quite charming too. Charming either way, but you should leave. I can't waste any time now that my lover, Mayor Tyler, is dead. Oh goodness, what a mess. King Raph is going to kill us all. I need to stop him, but I can't get that traitor we have locked up downstairs. Can't get to that traitor we have locked up downstairs. Numbly is their name. They used to work for King Raph, so they might have some information as to where he might be hiding, which is probably why those bounty hunters barged in a bit ago. They pushed right past me and demanded that I unlock the basement door. I think Numbly knows something. That's why we had them locked up in the first place, but they wouldn't talk. I'm sure those skull characters are here to kill Numbly and keep them from talking to anyone. Wow, your eyes really are quite stunning. May I touch them? Ah, there I go getting distracted again. Silly little Ella. Please, move fast if you're going to help, cutie. Just a warning, the skulk will not be happy to see you. A door behind me will take you to them. Thank you and your magnificent eyes, stranger. Dude, they talk way too much. Bob needs to cut down some of this. Oh, wow. Hurry up. It's been hours. What's taking so long? The key we stole off Ella just isn't working. No matter how much I pull, the door just won't budge. This painting is beautiful. Just beautiful. Two of the cl two clubs? Nope, go fish. We've got to get Numbly now. More people will be after him soon enough. Have you guys ever seen a painting so beautiful? 
Seriously, take a look at... Hey, looks like we have company. Huh? Oh, well, here we... Well, we were here first, pal. Wait, isn't that faux show shot? The famous adventurer? There's an even larger price on their head. Really? Wasn't well, that just convenient? Forget about Numbly, boys. We've got a new target. Well, I've got a bounty. Oh my god, there's so many. We're gonna be swimming in money after we take care of you. Oh, they're just dancing in the background. That's pretty good. I just wanted to finally do something as a family. We've never gotten along, so I thought bounty hunting could be fun. I guess friendship is all I really wanted. Thanks for helping me realize that. I can't believe it. Those idiots thought this was a pull door. Hey, I think that might be Numbly. Let's talk to them. Actually, how long have we been recording? I just need to double check. Jeez, an hour. Okay, uh, this is where I'm going to have to leave it uh, for this one. Um, but, you know, as always, the link for this game will be in the description below. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. It'll really help the channel out. And as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching.